Hey Fluffies, welcome back to Pink Stylist Plays. Today I'm really, really excited because we're going to start a new game called The Park. Now I've wanted to play this game for a while now. It's been out for about five years and it was suggested to me to play by my lovely friend Dylan. I say lovely, we'll see. <laughs> The only footage of this game I've ever seen is from the trailer, so I know roughly what I'm getting myself into. I know it's going to be scary, but I'm prepared this time. I'm mentally and physically prepared. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on, Charlie. We can do this. We can do it. <laughs> Here we go. Boop. Oh, if this makes me cry, I'm going to be so mad at Dylan. <laughs> okay, so Park is a, na a narrative experience best played in the dark room. Oh, we're dark. I'm wearing uh, headphones. Subject matter might be disturbing. During the course of play, park my. Oh, I don't want to manipulate graphics and all. No, it's going to be spooky! Oh, it's going to cause so much alarm. <laughs> but that's part of the fun. In my heart and mind, oh. I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Mm -hmm. You? Oh, she needs to work on her blending. Where's <laughs> Mr. Bear? Oh. I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. Okay. Wait, are we... Do I take him drive? Oh, I do! <gasps> oh! Yes, yeah, stay in the car, Callum. This theme park is for adults only. Yeah! I bloody love theme parks. I've wanted to play this for so long, purely because it is based on a theme park, and I love rides and stuff, but... Obviously, it's not going to be nice rides, is it? Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Ah! Oh. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. That's weird. There's only employees here. Hmm, okay. Callum was born oh. the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. A place to read. Oh, there we go. It's better. Uh, a tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream to Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect, infect, all of those who follow after. Dedicated this first day of May 1977. Okie pokey. Ooh, let's have a look. What else we've got to interact with? I think that's it, really. Where do I go? Where's information? Oh, <laughs> there we go. Hello! Oh! What? Uh. See, that's why you don't do drugs before you go hey, to a children's Lorraine. theme park! Lorraine! Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! Why would she ask I think your boy just ran into the park. So he's bad. I'll unlock the gates for you. Okay. Thanks. Hmm. Oh, to shout for Callum providing you audible and visual clues to get Okay, guys, gotcha. Where are you going? Over here. Well there he is. Oh, look, hello. He's spooky. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Over here. Ooh. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. Agreed. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. So it's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Is this how you get into a theme park for free? You just bring a child and make it run inside. Have a safe journey home. Wait for mommy, Callum. This way, mommy. Yeah, wait. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Wait for mommy, Callum. What just happened? Why is it now at night and all spooky? Oh god. The park. What happened here? I can run. Oh, let's have a look. She's not questioning the fact that it's now night time, or is this all in her head? Atlantic Island Park. Roller coaster? House of Horrors, we're going to the roller coaster. <laughs> not the House of Horrors that can fluff off! Wait for mommy, 
Wait, Callum! You can catch me. Oh, there he is. Yes, I bloody well can. Come here. No. No. I'm running! Oh, is this, this is this is our running. Okay, fine. Oh, uh, why would you go to the House of Horrors? Of course you would. It's a horror game. <sighs> oh, he's not. Oh, it's a good lad. Oh, hello. Callum. What's that? Harry Killian is Satan's whore. Oh, oh my. I kind of... Every part of me is saying don't go in there, but the other part of me is like, go in there! Can I go in there? Too dark. Oh. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. <laughs> oh my god, my heartbeat. Oh no, we're not doing that. Okay, good, fine. Smart. And my shadow. Oof. What does that say? Candy house. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's so pretty. Just say anything really to make myself feel better. Nope. Callum, come back here right now! Why is it all blurry? What's this going on way? there? Examine shoe. I think this belongs to Callum. A very good mother, if you don't know. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Okay. Just a drunk guy in a suit. Oh! Chad can be seen in, in daily ice sculpture shows in the following locations. What's that? Chad the chipmunk worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead-end job. Chad will die a useless thought. Oh, that's so sad! What the hell? Poor Chad. So let's... Eh, nope. Okay, fine. I guess we're not doing that either. What's that? Oh, 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 oh. I wonder what this is. Purchase the land on Solomon Island for a pittance, I might add. Whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals, just to, just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you are planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter, and with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts to warn me off. I have great vision for this place, and the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. The name is perfect, and I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. Oh dear, so what happened then? Ugh. Spooky, spooky place. Ugh. It's all so ominous. Tunnel of Tales, okay. Oh, please tell me we get to go on it. Where is he? Oh, is that in there? There he is. Oh, please tell me we get to go on the rides. Oh my god, I would love that. That's always my favourite thing about... On, Wait, can I get on it? I'm trying Callum, to get on it. I can't get on it. Uh, I want to get on it. Uh, there was one thing about um, theme park when they upgraded the game to like you can ride your own games. Hello? I can't get on it. I want to get on the ride. Wait, wait, what? I can! Yeah, when they upgraded theme park years and years ago and you could ride your own roller coasters and stuff and that was always wonderful. I, I'm going to assume this isn't as wonderful. <laughs> go, Swan, go! Go, Swan, go! Wow, this is really slow. Oh my god, if little tiny animatronic children start singing Small World to me, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> oh, now that song's stuck in my head forever. Oh god, I did that to myself. Look at my feeties and my handies. Hello. Oh. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl Callum, why did you named go? Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Drop him off what the will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest oh, and abandon them there. No, my wife, 
I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. This is a different version of the tale. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting oh. lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Uh-oh. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. So where's the witch coming to then? The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls so were made of gingerbread, oh, no. and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. At my house. An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Oh, fuck off. Once inside the house, the old that woman was, that was a cheap changed. Scare. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the opening is here, and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. 
Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Oh dear, imagine the smell. And then, oh. because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. I don't remember that. Is it bad that I was going to say waste not, want not before that actually come up? So I think I'm, <laughs> I'm in the right mind for this game. Oh no. Oh fuck off! No! No, 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 no! Look that way. Stop it. G good swan. <laughs> the bloody hell was that? Also, where's Callum gone? I would very much like to get off this one. I don't want to ride it again. That wasn't very nice. Off, please. Me want off. Now. <laughs> uh, who's running it? Off, please. Off, please. Yeah. Well, that was lovely. Oh, this one looks nicer now. Yes. Let's not do that again. Next! Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Oh dear. It's a flashlight. That's what I was going to say. I need a flashlight. This is, this is, I know it's a horror game, but why does it have to be so bleak? <laughs> Let's have a see then. What am I after here? Another accident. This place. Can I open? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Wait, hang on. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbons, so the only real que question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of uh, simple curiosity. I deduce that, uh, that what was needed from the banned writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a reason resonance, I can't speak today, of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use a negative and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon I will know if this has all been for nothing. Okay. Is there, a, is there a flash? There's a knife in the teddy bear's eye! Rude. Poor little bear. I need a flashlight. Eesh. So what, was it opened then closed and reopened by someone else then? Yeah. Where are you? You hummed. Oh, oh, oh. Safe. Ugh. <gasps> cool! Callum, where did you go? This way, Mommy. We're gonna ride every single Callum, ride. Where did you go? I would love that. I'm looking forward to the roller coaster. Let's say, Oct wait, Octatron? Okay. Where are you? This Ooh, little thing used to make the blood run to my head. Make me dizzy. Okay. Callum. Oh, hello. Tell mommy where you are. The guy so just I'll... snapped. Those poor kids. What? So, eyewitness report Atlantic Island Park incident. Officer on duty, Sheriff. Okay, Bannerman. Uh, Norma Creed. We are waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me and the boys. This fellow in a chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit weary of those suits. Same. They give me creeps. I know it's silly. 
Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice. I don't like where this is going. And at first, he thought he was making some... We thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion. But as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster, like you were the prey and that thing in the ice was a hunter. See, he just might not be very good at ice sculpture. I don't need to be, like, mean. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. He's proud of his work. For a few moments it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he, wait, and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I had the kids, oh my god, we were dragging them away as fast as we could. Oh my god! And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture making that horrible creature look more or less alive. Ow, fuck off! No! No, no, no! Oh, where... So where were they queuing? Here, I want to see where the ice sculpture is. <laughs> Assuming it's still there. Oh, that's weird. Has it got a face? That's a weird... It looks, does not look like an octopus, but okay. So how do I get on it? Oh, there, okay. Oh, I hope I can ride it. Oh, is that in there? Uh, I think so. I can't yes, get please. Moving. Oh, is there an off switch? <gasps> yes! Oh, hang on. Increase speed. Wait, can I, can I? I want to do both. Stop! Kill him! Is he on it? So which one does what? Oh, I think that's slowing it down. Okay. Is Callum even on it? I'm not playing anymore, Callum. I'm really confused. So we do really want to get on it, but there's like, he's not on it, so it doesn't serve any purpose. <laughs> Can I go on it now, please? Yes. Oh, scary or not, and horrible content aside, I'm on a ride! Sound is concerning me a bit. I mean, if that gets the rocks off, that's fine, I guess, but not on a children's ride. <laughs> oh, fuck off! Oh, shit, no! Oh, hello! Oh! Mm, did not like. Where was it? It was here, wasn't it? Oh, did not like that. Leave, please. Would very much like to go away from that. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. <sighs> the first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. God! Damn it, that's dark. Oh, hello. Wait, Callum! Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping. And most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve. See? Even I'm starting to call him Chad. And I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn suit. In the beginning, it was just a laugh. Steve, the local lush as Chad the Chipmunk, child-friendly mascot, Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. 
but the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first it was, a li it was little things like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every single day. See, that's weird enough. But then I saw him at Susie's diner still wearing it and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff uh, complained discreetly to park management about the smell and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suits still smell like a carcass whenever Steve walks by. Ew. And apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him pu was that say puking up in the gutter outside the something station, I can't read that. Because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the ice though, they give me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up. I fuck, oh, bad word, <laughs> whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually I called my supervisor and when he came by, Chad, Steve, wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura, oh my god, fair enough. <laughs> oh! Fuck you! Oh, dearie me. What is that? I'm not... Do we go inside here and see what's going on? I don't want to. Let's not. Nope, nobody, nope, 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 nope. Kinda want to, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh my god, I'm really hot now. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. I don't like it, it's really quiet. Go on then. Constant crashes and 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Can we ride them? That'd be pretty awesome. Come we are on! looking for a child. Where did you go? Okay. Someone just said something. Someone just said it can't touch me. Don't like it. Are we doing anything in here? Can we ride the bumper cars? I'm gonna assume not. That's okay, I think. Hold on, one of them is lit up, so maybe. We'll find a child eventually. <laughs> Examine. Oh, the accident report, okay. Oh, let's have a look. Okay, accident report. Uh, so, Francis. something or other. <laughs> so, 1976. Uh, Labourers working on the crane. Okie dokie. Brief description of the accident, okay. So, during the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Francis was killed. Oh, God. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide uh, them with urine samples. Double checking of the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screening for all drivers. Oh my god. What's this? The local labourers are very superstitious and that, that this hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to return to work until we have someone from the local church walk around the park and exercise the spirits. Oh, hello, I'm scared to- OH! I was about to say I'm scared to- Oh good god, stop reading after this kind of stuff happens. I can't- oh god, oh god. going to investigate that then. Oh my god. Oh, he's so spooky. So spooky. Mm. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word, just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. 
Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead Bloody my hell. mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. <laughs> I don't want to read anything. I'm scared. When I put it back down again, it's going to be spooky. Continually, uh, continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders. The problem is that they are locals and they believe a lot of the rumours about what the old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up on those tales. Oh, my bad. So it was the original owner. Now it's... Yeah, okay, ignore me. So it is still when it was new. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, that is why I choose this site over the other potentials. Solomon Island is the nexus for dark energies and the fault of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here. It makes my skin crawl. I called in a few favours back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see it and see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that Old Man Henderson was, has some pretty strong connection to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plans that I'm missing. Uh. Oh, nothing. Okay. Oh, it's too quiet. I do not like. I guess we're going on this ride now. Okay, Ferris wheel. That, Cause that looks so super safe. So super safe, totally safe. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Don't be afraid. Mommy is coming. He's clearly not on it. Or is there a baby? All right. So decrease speed or increase speed. So we want to go decrease. Where's the jump scare this time? Okay, cool. Hello, Chipmunk. Sorry, Chad. Wait, can I just jump in it? Yes. Oh, because this looks sanitary. Nice. Okay, here we go. Lovely Ferris wheel ride where nothing possibly can go wrong. Yes. I've got like tetanus shots and whatnot, because it's very rusty. <laughs> I don't see a Callum. How is this aiding our search? They all come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there diner watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Oh, whoa. Mom was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Well, it explains why she's not in a very good place, but I'm assuming that either both of them are dead or something, and this is all happening in her head. Or something. Because. Why would you get on the ride? Why, what the... This is her hell then. Okay, so I, don't, I, I mean, depressing ride, sure, but at least it wasn't scary for once. Bloody hell. Oh, fuck off! Spookiness aside, that is a cool looking character. That is a character I would very much like to do a makeup for. Okay, so where am I going this time? Let's go this way. Can I go this way? Can I? Yes, again. Don't be afraid. Why is always a baby crying? Or is that just a reference to when she gave birth to Callum and yeah, probably. Psychological horror and whatnot. Oh, is that gonna be the thing that snapped and killed him? Oh, is that the bear? Take roller coaster ticket. Yes! Oh! Spin spin 
Shiga. And isn't that the doll that was after? Probably best to take it, but maybe not. It's fine, just keep moving. Everything's fine. Uh, just keep swimming. Just keep. Oh, I don't like it when it goes all quiet. A lot of Spooky. people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Right, okay, that, clearly that was all awful, but this woman is kind of my hero! <laughs> she just says what she thinks! Oh my god, that is horrible! <laughs> really funny though. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's do this. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Okay, how is this going to be spooky then? Who died on this one? Oh, hello. Thank you, you for. Want? Wait, I need to talk. Oh fuck, he's touching me. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I. I can't look behind me. Salty. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what uh, we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. Which oh, has a god. Now, has both of you. Oh. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Oh, let go, please. Just, just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Uh. Let go. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay, now I can enjoy the roller coaster ride in peace. Oh, fuck. Oh. Whoa, hello. Today. Oh, I just got it. Ha! Oh. God damn it. Oh. Wow. So every single aspect of this park is a metaphor for some part of her life. Oh god damn it. So what what's left in this? What's the house of horrors gonna be? I don't wanna see that. Something that's meant to be scary. Okay, good. Now where? Let's go away from that. I take my mind, don't like the roller coaster. Bad roller coaster. Not a nice one. Nope. Nope nope. Nope nope nope. Okay, nope. Take fluff. Finally! Mine! Which awaits. Uh, Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. How does she know? I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. Oh, damn. I think he wants to talk to me. 
I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. What? You can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. Okita, okay? I don't want it. I don't want to do this anymore. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Cotton candy corpse leaves sour taste in park goers' mouths. Yesterday evening, visitors at Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be of those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy, who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Oh my god, Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It's a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the, of the victim and will cooperate fully with the authorities to help bring this case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates on this story going forward. Oh god. So everyone who works here dies. Ugh. Lovely sound. I don't know what to do. I don't want to look. How Kel, can I? Where are you? Can I use my flashlight? I'm not allowed Kel, yet. I don't think I am. You? I don't like how dark it is. I do not like. Oh, cotton candy. Oh, is that the cotton candy stand? Oh, bloody hell. I don't want to. Don't make me do it. Poor bastard. Who did this to him? Don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Do not like it. I'm not going to turn around. Ah, ah. Oh my god, he's going to be there. Of course he is. Fuck you, chipmunk. Oh, oh god, don't like. Oh, please let me out of here. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I just want to leave. No, actually, no, sorry, I need to find Callum. <laughs> How do I go? Oh, let me go. God damn it. So there's only one mascot in the entire, entire map. Like, this one park has one mascot, and that's it. What's that? Pills? The, these are mine. Oh. Oh, hello. Not safe. What the fluff? I can't even... This door is hot. I hear your mother say no to graffiti. Wow. Okay. Don't believe anything they tell you. Oh my god. This is giving me Max Payne vibes for some reason. Oh. Only dead fish follow the stream. Forgive me, Callum. Can I, can I, well, I don't know what to do. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> don't leave oh. me here, Callum. What is that? A oh, hospital beds. Oh, please say I can run through that. Yay. <laughs> Fun. Don't touch me. Oh, hello. Is that the same newspaper? Oh, no, it's a new one. Belly Button is the signature of your personal creator. I believe her name was Mama. Every 17th child is a magnet for sinfulness, made omniscient by broken fires in the coastal strain. We don't believe that the earth belongs to battered goat. Oh, you know, oh no, oh, no, not reading that. Ouch, that hurts my brain. No. <laughs> oh. Pokey pokey. Yes! Freedom! 
Sweet freedom! There's a hospital. Oh my god, operating table fights. Oh no! Oh, can I? No! <sighs> She's losing her mind. We need to get out of here. Yep, yeah, nope, we're not doing that. Come on, run! Rank is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with that. joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. Fucking the hell! Of the witch looms over it all. I always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me inside. You know what? Can I just say one bloody thing to make this a little bit less fucking bleak? Yes, that theme park toys and stuff and teddies and prizes tend to be a little bit, well, bad. But that's not the point. Uh, you have to pay a lot of money to get them. What you're paying for is a freaking experience. I love it. I'm quite happy to spend money trying a game that I'll never bloody win. And maybe one time out of 50 I might get one like thing knocked over and I'll get a tiny prize for it. And you know what? I'll keep that prize because every time I look at it I'll think I tried really hard and had so much fun that day. Theme parks are awesome. Don't listen to her. She's mean. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, oh god. Turn the flashlight on! Oh. Okie dokie. So I guess we're doing this now. Oh god. Oh, this is going to be a bundle of laughs, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Don't like House of Horrors. Do not like them. And this is a ride. Uh, at least I have to stay on the path. Read page. Oh. Done. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of townsfolk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small-minded fools, scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I have retreated here to the House of Horrors, I must think. Okay. That sounds healthy. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, is that the dude that's been chasing us? Eek. Creepy. What's his name? Wait. Oh, there's, there's, um, oh god. He's, Who was that? Is, is, is that him? Nope. Hang on. Oh, Nathaniel, that's actually the owner. Okay, gotcha. Show yourself. Oh. It's me! Oh! <laughs> Dickhead. Fuck off. Oh, uh, hello? <laughs> can I, can I press buttons? I can't. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Mommy, don't hide. Don't leave me! Don't touch me! These past memories, then. Be spooky. Oh, hang on. Can I, can I read that? Nope. Hello? I don't know which way to go. Okay. They like mirrors, don't they? Oh god, fuck off. Oh god! Okay. Oh, Stop! Turn around, mommy! Yeah. Don't fucking say that! I hate when people say, look, oh, don't say turn around. Don't, no, I can't even speak! I don't want to play this anymore! Oh, look! No. See, when anyone says that, look behind you or don't look behind you, I have to look behind me. It freaks me the fuck out. So I don't look down. Don't leave me! I don't know where 
three years and I don't like it anymore. No. Ugh, all these mirrors. Fucking hell, sod that. Cleaning them must be a nightmare. Yeesh. No, 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 oh god, no, it's a fuck off. Cut out, fuck off. Which way do I go? Just isn't that the way I came in. Oh, 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 God. Oh, okay. Fuck off! I don't like it. Where is my boy? Oh, this is so horrible. Given to me. You know what? The next jump scare, I'm not going to get scared. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to be a brave little toaster. You know. <laughs> that didn't count. Of course. Nobody finishes that rhyme! What happens to the little duck? Wait. Okay. Can I go in, please? Okay. Somebody's getting murdered. Okay. Locked. Locked. Oh, this is going to be like a recreation of our old home or something in her head. Oh, that's nice. What was that? Nightmare Circus. Oh! Uh, a circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The owner is put to death by an, an enraged mob of townsfolk. Just as he shouts out a curse, now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. So this is like the last book she read there or something like that. That's cute. So that's why we're in a... After book. they let me out, that's why we're here. gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. God, this is game enough. It did say, but it doesn't half deal with some really deep, like, topics. And I don't begin to try and understand what someone like that would be going through. But I would imagine that having people around that telling you it will get better, I'm pretty sure that's not a good thing. I think you're better to see people have to sympathise with you and tell you, yeah, everything's shit right now. But let's, let me try and help you through it rather than, oh my god, but I'm scared to see how this story ended. I mean, they both must have died. I don't want to know how... I... This is going to be horrible, I know it is. After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that your service has been discontinued and will be disconnected shortly. So make payments, if you believe it's an error. Okay, so wasn't able to pay bills, so they've cut her off. Okay. Or whoever's house this is. I'm assuming it's ours. Hunger. A true story. Oh my god. On April 16th, 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500-mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in mountains with very little bu uh, to buy or sup. It was to become one of the greatest tragedies of westward migration that the world had ever seen. Now, our panel of experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive that terrible winter. Oh, no. In this never-before-seen expose, read about how the Donna children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. 
all here in the page of this shocking true story. Everything so far has been accounted for, other than obviously the witch and them eating the witch. Everything else is a metaphor for something else, and now I'm really concerned that's how this is going to end. Oh, is that going to the doctors? Oh, God. Hmm. Mum and me in a car. Oh, he seems like a happy child. What's this? I love you from Callum. Aww. That's cute. So, it wasn't so bad. And there's the teddy again. Can't remember what teddy is. Dull. Probably should bring it back. Assuming we aren't, you know, dead. Ugh, no, this is horrible. Okay. Wait, what? Turn the tap off! Wasting water. Lovely. Oh, at least you can close the door again. It drives me crazy when you can't do that in games. You have to leave them open. It's like, the heating! The electric bill! You'll break the motor! Okay. Alright. As we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is official not notification that you are considered sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please know that you should discontinue any medication that you've been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time you are suffering a relapse, then please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish you continued health. Okay, so but did you carry on taking the medication or something? Yeesh. Oh. Lorraine, I received your letter and I'm quite surprised. You ran off with your father all those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map. And when, then when I finally tracked you down, you refused to answer any of my letters. And now you write to me asking for help. I have another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man and I regret the years that I wasted with, with him. I loved you, I truly did, but every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought your, of, for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back in my life without picking up and open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it'll be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I'm not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. Oh. Oh, how is this going to go? Our inquiry into the estate of Dr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary bene beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement and accident death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, the deceased parents. Our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regards to the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures, and they specified that without any legal proof of biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive the monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that we are no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may be a negative impact on your current financial situation, and I hope that I am not being too forward when I close the bill for our services for this that. Oh, my God. God, so he dies in the um, Ferris wheel accident, and she doesn't get anything for her or her son. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Jesus. And then close a bill. Lovely. Going down even further. Okay. Open. Nope. Wait, what? We're back here again. Wait, wait, hang on, this is new. The park, it was a wait, wait, waiting on a child for take, take, taking, using joy for bait, bait, baiting, while the mother's mind is breaking. What the fluff is happening? Oh, Lorraine, things aren't right between us at the moment, I know. I want to try and explain it. I think it's because I'm so far from home and I'm working so hard every day working at the park. It gets worse, like a spring inside my mind, winding tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guys relax and we laugh and we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind, but when this job is done, we need to get out of this place. We need to go back to the city where I don't feel like this anymore. I love you, Donald. P.S. I was thinking about names for the boys and girls. I like Callum for a boy and MF. It's a girl. Oh. 
Oh, come on. Why would it show me that? That's mean. In the spring of 1933 in Soviet Ukraine, an entire population found themselves without food. Over the course of the incoming months, the situation grew critical and the course of mass malnutrition began to filter into the upper echelons of the government. The people had been left with very little to buy or sub. It was to become one of the greatest tragedies of mass starvation that the world had ever seen. Now our panels of Soviet experts have uncovered compelling evidence that there were families who were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive that terrible winter. In this never before expose, I read about how starving parents cooked and ate their own children in order to survive. Oh god, oh god, I don't want to know, I don't want to know! Oh, I don't want to know! More pills! Oh, there you are! Oh, I kill him! Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks! Zolo, wait, Zolip, Zolip prescription, All right? Take the pills, follow up with Dr. Spencer, organise babysitter for Callum. Ugh. Oof, lovely. Wait, does it say wine? Yes, please. So this is the same letter as before, it just says I didn't run away, Dad took me. Oh god. Okay. Oh! Oh not again! Oh, hello. What's happened to the drawing? That's not lovely at all. So this is Hansel and Gretel. Wait, hang on, what? The story has been doctored to hide the truth about the unsuspecting public. Now our panel of fairy tale experts have uncovered compelling evidence that Hansel and Gretel were in fact eaten alive. Oh, fluff off. In this never before seen expose, read about how the parents inexpertly tried to cover it up by telling stories about a witch in a house made of candy. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Wait, what was that? Oh no! Oh, this is horrible! Oh dear! Oh, the kitchen still looks horrible, like always. <laughs> Wait, was this? Oh, it's just all the prescription. Oh god. I'm not... Wait, do I look in there? Oh, it's just wine. Well. Wine and prescription medication. I think we know what happened here. Do not like... Do... Not... Like... So she carried on taking the medication. Was boarded up. There's not been a jump scare in a while. I think there's going to be oh no! The second I put this down, he's going to jump scare me. He's going to jump scare me, or not? Oh, pleasantly surprised. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh. Okay. This is totally normal. Totally fine. The woodcutter is dead. The witch always wins. And here are the pages of this broken... Oh my god! It's all so horrible! 
Remember, you are alone. Nobody loves you. Callum is no longer who he once was. Well, I mean, if he's done this, he certainly isn't. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, fluff. Oh my god, this is horrible. I don't like it. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Thank you. That was horrible. Let's not do that again. What's banging? What the f Don't like it, no, I don't. I don't want to do this. Oh, bloody hell. Don't like it, don't like it. Just going to speed through it, because I don't like it. Oh, okay, well at least there's no babies hanging from hooks now. So that's, that's something nice. Okay, so everything's still the same. Okay, but no babies. And no bed. Oh, the fire's not so good. Oh, dear fucking God. De oh, God. What the hell? Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time, before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of the story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am. No! I? Kids broke in today. It's been so long since I heard laughter, so very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh, this boy from the academy. I put him on the slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, whirring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Oh, what the hell? really dramatic turn. Cal. 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 Mr. 
you, Monk. Lorraine, Lorraine, don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. What? What the fuck, fuck, fucking fuck was that? No, oh, Jesus, bloody Christ, no! That was horrible! cartoons or Hello Kitty that I could watch to go over that. What the hell? I'm <laughs> I'm at a loss for words here. That what the hell? So I, I that story was all over the place. I, unless I missed something, I'm, I'm people are gonna have to explain to me what that story was from what I can gather. Aside from the fact that she was incredibly and utterly depressed that she lost her husband. I'm thinking there's two stories that, that are going on at the same time here. I don't. Th I think the park is meant to be taken literally, to be honest. I wasn't sure if it was meant to be in her head or not. But, like, if these news articles are to be taken, like, at face value, then... And the sun ran away. Did the sun run to the park? And died... Actually, that makes more sense. And died there. And they uh, was killed with an ice pick. Which is the chipmunks... It was an ice sculpt. There it is. Got it. Okay, so the chipmunks and ice sculpt. They kill people with an ice pick. You saw an ice pick in the bear's eye, didn't you, in that car? Are we going to assume then that the kid died at the park and she's feeling guilt over it? Is that is that it? I'm, I don't think she's meant to have killed him. I, I really don't think that was meant to be that. I mean, I could be wrong, but the story she was telling, what we just did there, was all what she was telling the police officer, which I think was the guy at the start as well, who opened the doors to the park. But I think, yeah, I mean, this is two stories going t t together. So it happened in the past, and the child ran to this thing park. Yeah. Either way, I mean, please let me know in the comments below what you think the story is, or if I'm missing something obvious. Very, It was a very, very, very well-made game. The atmosphere alone is... That was pretty stunningly good. But bloody hell, that was sad. Wow. And, I mean, yeah, the jump scares were scary, but overall, the whole game was bloody scary. <laughs> Wow. Well, on that note, <laughs> thanks everyone so much for watching. Hopefully you didn't scream as much as I did. <laughs> but, oh, and a massive thank you to Dylan for suggesting this bloody game. <laughs> Blimey. Alright, so as always, I'm going to watch some nice things on TV to cheer myself up. <laughs> thanks again for watching. Until the next video, awesome possum. Bye, Fluffies.